started at the second hole, the par three. Thomas, who got it to eight under for the weekend. You can see how high he just hit that iron way up into the air to this front right hole location, fading it just perfectly. Max Homa, though, the story early on, started with a birdie at one. This is approach at the fourth. Yeah, through the first seven holes, he hit four shots inside of 10 feet, just continues to give himself opportunities to make birdies out here. At four straight, and this one at the fifth, par five is third from the bunker. A little short-sided on the upslope, just perfect technique. Keeps it underneath the hole for an easy birdie. He's looking for his seventh win overall, looking here to get it to 12 under. Yeah, for the most part, he's been splitting the fairways. Not the best wedge shot, but able to take advantage with that putt. How about Justin Thomas, though? This to get it to 11. Pretty much from that exact same angle. Not playing with Max today, but great read by JT. Matt Kuchar has put himself in the mix. Take a look at where he's aiming here, Smiley. Way to the right. We saw him do this a couple times yesterday and, and was able to make these putts. No way. <laughs> Matt is on the move. Down in Florida now, Eric Cole having a great season. Mm -hmm. Great shot. And maybe the front runner for that rookie of the year spot. Sam Ryder at eight under from 149. So he's, we just checked that 51st through 60. He's 62, so he's right outside the bubble there. Pin all the way in the back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I took a peek. It's one of six players who are inside the top 50 in the FedEx Cup race, so they nothing to worry about. Whoa. Status secured. Oh, he did match it. Which one goes first, Smiley? Pick him up. <laughs> good, good. And this borderline's on a sucker pin. <laughs> I've seen a lot of bad things happen, players trying to get it close here, but you can do it. I think he listened to you. Realizing a little slope there, that'll work. That spun out of the rough. That sure did. Took that one hop in the rough, came back. Excellent. Yeah, a little uphiller here from about eight, nine feet should break left. No problems. This hole is cut very close to the front of this green. You can easily spin one back well off the green. Well judged from Matt. Kuchar's on a roll today, Mark Smiley. Perfect live from the fairway. Let's slide it down a little bit, shaping it left to right, little right of the hole. Lovely shot. We'll have another good look. Hammered in the back. <laughs> Firm, aggressive. Just take all the break out. Meanwhile, Eric Cole, this at 10. And well done. Give me a quick putt. Oh, that one races home. His fifth birdie of the day, and Callum has suddenly thrust himself to just one back. Yeah, does he fly it on the green or try to bump it into the hill? <laughs> Good job. The smiling assassin is at it again. Every time we pan to Matt Kuchar this week, I'm just expecting him to make it. He has been unreal the last 36 holes, holding shots. Ball looks like it's coming off the blade right where he's looking all the time. He hadn't made all of them, but uh, I think he's putted very well. There you go. Good call. There is an opening between the right green side bunker and the one immediately in front of the green. He's going to have to try to hit it low and bounce it through that. And trying to play a now little He's run done and draw. just that. I'm telling you what. That is brilliant. What a shot. And we saw some of that yesterday. He's, he is so brilliant when he gets out of position. Left hand break. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want Roger to say it looked like a three the entire time. He loves saying that phrase. This putt is so fast. 
He hit that about three feet in front of him. Brilliant. How well judged was that? I tell you what, he's probably been the most impressive player to me today. He's been just rock solid all day to me. Just a couple putts he didn't make, but no bogeys. Great lie in the bunker here. Oh! And he jars it from the bunker, so Justin Thomas, a little low five for Bones, races up to 14 under par, and he's only one back of the lead. Look at that scorecard. Justin Thomas, welcome back to the fray. Cam Davis, this his third at 16. Oh, okay then. Oh, sure. All right. That was going 25 feet by. <laughs> Didn't even keep the pin and it still went in. Three of the last four, he's within two. After that bad break hitting off the backside of that bunker. Oh. So smooth. What a putt, 15 under now. Cam Davis kind of quietly going about his business, 68, 68, and now five under on the days. You look at the tracer by Trackman. He is only two shots back. Oh, oh, how about that? That's a beauty. One yeah, of the best we've seen thus far today. Yep, really good too. Having a really nice back nine. More often than not, we'll jump well past the hole. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. Whatever the discussion was with Ian Bobby Brown certainly worked. Sensational. Tap in for Thomas at the last on this Saturday in Napa. 65, just one back. Yeah, got a little unlucky. It just landed short of the green and killed its forward momentum. This one uphill now. Yes, indeed. Yep, 17 under par now. For Tagawa, who stretches his lead out to two. And this is left of the hole. Oh, look at this. Oh, how about that? Has a chance to make Birdie here to play in that final group again with the hit. Gallery willing that putt to the hole. And that is going to be his goal. Try to get on top of that board earlier. And I'll tell you what, JT, he's done it a time or two. So you got seven players within five shots of the lead. Looking ahead all the way down to seventh place. Callum Terran there at uh, 12 under par. Max Homa, wow, what a start today for him. And then went the other way, a 70 today for the two-time defending champ. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.